Hi, this is Pascal from Aristides Guitars and welcome to the Aristides Guitars factory here in Harlem, the Netherlands. Today, we're gonna do something new. We're gonna shoot a new video series called Paint Shop Highlights. We're gonna do these every once in a while, showing you guys what comes out of the paint booth here at Aristides. We specialize in a lot of different finishes. You know, we, we do solid finishes that look really cool, but we go up to the craziest custom finishes our customers come up with. We are here in what we call Rodney's Corner. Rodney is our, our master painter here at Aristides. What I'm going to do is simply show you what he's been working on the past couple of weeks. So we have some guitars here that I'm gonna pick up, show you guys, and maybe tell something about it if there's a cool story. So yeah, let's start by simply picking up some of the guitars that are uh, behind, well, around me right now. Uh, the first one right here, is a beautiful 060S in our dark gray sapphire marble finish in a satin version. We do these in gloss as well. Um, marble finishes are uh, some of their classic Aristides finishes. You see them a lot. We do them in a lot of different colors. This is the, the dark gray sapphire one and it's absolutely gorgeous. Backplate obviously isn't on yet. But this is a guitar we're actually uh, making as a, an in-stock demo model. This is going to go to some shows. We're going to be at Tech Fest this summer, Radar Festival in the UK. Uh, we're going to be in Germany for Guitar Summit in September as well. It's very, very likely you'll see this guitar there. So absolutely gorgeous finish, an absolute classic. Ooh, next up, what I see here is something very, very special. Um, let me start out with the first one. This is, these are builds very, very custom builds inspired by, well, Tron, obviously. Uh, we made our own thing out of that, designed this for this particular client. And yeah, what we do in these cases is we make the entire design and we plot it onto the guitar after we, uh, which we paint it layer for layer. Uh, put a lot of attention and detail into the inlay as well, uh, which is pretty damn clear. The back of it, Unfortunately, you can't see the back plate right now, but it's absolutely gorgeous. And there are a lot of Tron fans out there apparently because out of this guitar, we also did another one we were working on at, well, around the same time. This one is spectacular as well. Let me show you guys. Hope you can capture it properly. This is a lot of work. This is a lot of taping for our painter. And it was a lot of work for our inlay guys as well, but man, did it turn out good. This inlay is glow in the dark as well, so that's another spectacular part of it. The back of the neck is probably my favorite thing with this guitar. Got our logo on there, on the body. Yeah, the back of the neck is absolutely nuts. came out so well. Beyond excited to see this finish. I know the customer is very, very excited to see this as well, so. And this one right here, this is a, a, a desert tan marble gloss. This is not a finish we see that often, but man, it's gorgeous. It's so subtle. It has this marble structure in there, but it's subtle. So you see it from certain angles and yeah. Super classy. I'm not sure what the hardware color on this one is going to be, but either chrome or gold or even hybrid chrome gold hardware would look incredible on this. Beautiful. Uh, let me get on to this. This is something our video guy, Mark, who is actually videoing right now as well, uh, did an extended video of on our YouTube channel. You can see uh, not this guitar, but another guitar with this finish getting created. It's a triple fate. So you have three colors in lilac, sea foam, aqua green, and pink. And we put our Arctic Sunset Sparkles on it. And it's mind blowing. Yeah, I was looking at it. Sorry, I forgot to turn it around. It's a gorgeous finish. If you wanna see how this gets created, I would like to refer to another video on our channel where you can see this getting made from start to finish. Definitely recommend watching that. So a lot of sparkles. We've got our, oh, this is a good one too to show. This is a very popular finish. This is the regular Arctic Sunset Sparkle. It's always hard to show 
uh, the depth of this finishing pictures. Hopefully on video we can get it out there a bit more. Yeah, I'll tilt it a little bit, try to find the right angle. There's just so much going on in, this, in these sparkles. A lot of stuff happening. Let me turn it around real quickly. Got the satin painted neck on there, which is something 99% of our customers go with. We offer a complimentary satin painted neck on our gloss guitars just because of the feel. A lot of people prefer the, the satin feel of the neck over a gloss neck. Uh, but yeah, gorgeous guitar. And another one in this rack, which is a blue marble, but with our flame pattern. I hope you're getting it on the camera. This has got a really cool glow in the dark blue inlay as well. Moon faces, which is always really nice to see on guitars. We do those quite often as well. Let me turn it around. This one is dusty right now, but it, this customer went with an all black back. Sometimes people mimic the, the flame of the front. Um, but this one went with an all black backside, which is nice, you know? It really looks like a flame top. So, these guitars are all ready to go to assembly this week. We've got some more guitars here, which Rodney is working on right now. Let me start off with another guitar we're building for, um, for our upcoming shows. This is a TO in Lilac Sparkle. You can't see Mark's face right now, but he's like, oh man. Yeah, that's your thing, right? Now it's gorgeous. This is a custom Lilac Sparkle finish we developed. Uh, it's amazing and it's gonna look so good once this one is finished with hardware and all that. Turned around. Very, very excited to, uh, to see this one. This is still in progress, so it still needs to get its satin painted neck on there as well. Like Rodney is working on these right now. But yeah, gorgeous finish. We've got another, well, fan favorite, I can say. Two fan favorites, actually, two of those. This is the Nebula Sparkle. This is, uh, Mark, don't you own one of these? The you were the first, yeah. Mark was actually the first one to want this. So he saw the Galactic Sparkle and he was like, guys, I love it and I love my Galactic Sparkle, but you guys need to, can, can you go a bit more crazy? So we added, uh, with some airbrushing, we add the whole nebula thing to it, and it is amazing. A lot of people are going with this finish these days, and I can see why. We've uh, done some, some pretty crazy ones. I'll turn it around again. Yeah, it's gorgeous. We have another one there. Let me show that one as well. This is uh, on a HSSTO, slightly different look. So yeah, this is all done by hand, the airbrushing on there. So it's gonna be slightly different on every one of these, but it's, uh, Rodney loves doing these, I know that. The backside. Real nice. Yeah, and <laughs> well, closing this one off with a, a truly crazy, crazy finish for my buddy Kyle. This is, I'm not sure if, yeah, you probably, all you guys probably saw the Harry Potter movie. This one reminds me of the, the cake that Hagrid uh, brings out to Harry. You know that one, right, Mark? The cake he comes out with in the first movie. It's kind of that on steroids with a lot of sparkle. This is a custom sparkle with actually a black burst on which we put the same sparkles, but the sparkles are so intense that the whole black burst, well, it's pretty much green. It's, it's just so cool. I will show it from the side as well. Are you ready for me to turn it, Mark? Then you can see the, the black in there. There's black on the sides, hope you get it. Just turns green constantly, it's crazy. So this is definitely a super intense build. Uh, Another one I can't wait to see finish and to see, to hear what Cal, uh, Cal thinks when he gets it. So 
Um, yeah, that was just a quick impression of some of the guitars we're working on. Like I said, we're gonna do these a bit more often. We just wanna show you guys what we're working on. Yeah, we'll show you how we do that a bit more as well. So we'll do videos like the one I discussed earlier, where we just show how we paint a guitar from start to finish. Thank you so much for watching. Again, we'll get more of these out to you soon, and I hope you all will have a great day. Cheers.